my friends and the vegan I make another pineapple salad I just add one more fruit to pineapple pineapple is one of the fruits one of the ingredients I tend to call solitary solitary is usually eaten by itself pineapple can easily be combined with other fruit or with nuts and seeds it's not so easy because they have this I guess that's the reason bromelain that is an enzyme that helps to digest protein and somehow this seems to be not so nice together with not certain nuts and seeds so um, to combine pineapple with fruit is very easy but with nuts and seeds and a lot of recipes in my kitchen have nuts and seeds and fruit together with pineapple I have to be careful walnuts that's possible uh, blend walnuts that goes nicely with pineapples um, and there are some other examples but usually if difficult today I have red carrots carrots together with a pineapple just one more ingredient that's all I need to make a a, um, a new recipe I have one ingredient I want to use the pineapple today I had a beautiful pineapple I said how can I eat it in a recipe that it means not by itself just in a recipe to combine it with other other food so I take today I take a red currant I had that too so pineapple and red currant is today and as I have a method that is called for three at least I use a dressing to cover these two and that is something I really uh, love a lot, this flavor. It's basically, you blend a mango, this is a peeled mango, with a lemon. And the flavor here is so delicious. I don't know why, but mango and, mango and, um, and lemon, um, that is, you mean, um, also when you blend banana with lemon, that is my other to-go-to. -to a fruit, the mag banana. I use it all the time for dressings and creams, yeah, for fruit salads, for example. Um, when you blend banana with lemon, it's also something very exciting happens. The man the banana tastes more like banana even, and it's uh, the mango similar. Both are both fruit are very sweet, mangoes and bananas, and put a, a lemon into it. One lemon, one mango. Not a, not a large mango, but either way, it's okay. Uh, there's something very nice happens, and both fruit are also mangoes, I mean, and bananas are also very high in fiber. And fiber is the uh, the part of a plant. It's only in plants. It's the part of the plant that makes the texture. If it's crunchy or if it's firm, liquid, runny, uh, fiber is that what changes it. And also, I found when you blend fiber. The texture can change into completely different um, textures. Uh, with banana, you blend a banana, it turns into a runny cream. Or when you blend the mango, it turns into a more pudding-like texture. So there are differences. And um, I will add here to the mango and the lemon a little bit of date. Because it's just three medium dates, pitted of course. And they will not add water in the first place. I want to see what happens. Because when I add water, um, maybe the texture gets better. Maybe the texture needs a little bit of water. But at the same time, especially when you just have fruit, just pure fruit, like here, it can happen that the flavor is tuned down. It is diluted. I had that in a, when I began with the method of make three in my kitchen. I want to minimize the ingredients to make, to make it easier to make new recipes than a small number of ingredients. It's very easy, comparatively, relatively easy to make a new recipe because the more ingredients you have, wow, you're scratching your head, what can I do, what was wrong, and can I change something, I don't know, uh, the measurement's very complicated, you know. But with a small number of ingredients, like three, it's easy, you know exactly what's right or what's wrong. You know exactly what to change, or if, if there's a chance or so. So three is very nice. But if you have this small number of ingredients, you can run into problems. You know, for example, the texture um, it can be just too thick. In a soup, for example, if it's too thick, it's not a soup. 
<laughs> and here too, it can be too thick and then I add some water and then the water the flavor goes down and the best flavor of this mango and lemon goes away. So this is a little bit here a tricky thing. I try now to blend it and uh, see what the texture says. And then I decide if I add water or not. Blender dance. Yeah, I see already. You can see that too, if you look closely. Yeah, it's a little bit thick. Yeah. So maybe it asks for a little water, but not sure. It can be, could also be perfect, could also be perfect without water, because um, I will put it into a fruit salad with other fruit, with, um, and then maybe it is okay the texture it has. Let me taste it. I will blend a second time anyway because the dates they are a little bit dry. They need a little bit soaking here and a second blending will change the texture once again and maybe then it is okay. Now it looks a little bit too thick but um, most important is the flavor. Let's, let's see. flavor is awesome. It's just that mango lemon flavor I was talking about. It's so nice. Maybe I could add a little bit more water, but let's let's wait for a second. I don't want to I don't want to add water because as I said here in this case the mango has such a nice flavor and breaking it down with water would really make a difference. Not sure I want that. So I will let it sit for a moment and then I'll blend again and see. So first now, while it's soaking, I add the two main fruit here. It's a pineapple, I'll show you again. One medium pineapple, small rather. And they're about the same amount of red currants. They are among my favorite fruit. A little bit sour, but I have the, from the, the memory from the garden of my grandma. She had always red currants, blue cur uh, black currants and white currants growing there nicely, kind of hallway. And I was, I, that I knew standing there and picking them is the super, you know, the, the, you think at first all a little bit sour, but when you begin, once you begin, they are so delicious, getting better and better. The flavor, the taste buds, they adjust and then you love these, <laughs> I love these red currants. All the other currants too. The red currants, usually they're find, uh, easy to find in the health food shop or everywhere. Red currants are also, they are all with all the time. Black currants not so easy to find. They're also delicious. They have a diff totally different flavor. They have this deep black flavor, like a deep space. So you have to try that. It's also very nice. A little bit sweeter, like wood a little bit also. Oh, awesome. But you don't find them that often. And, and there's no chance, no chance at all to find them out of season. No way. Yeah, but the red currants, you find them also all through the year if you are lucky in a, in a supermarket, no problem. But black currants, no chance. I tried it once, you could believe me. There are articles on the internet about black currants, no way. Only in season they are. That's very strange, I didn't know. Yeah, but these because they are not so much asked. That's all, you don't, you don't have them because nobody wants them. I love them. So here, this is my beautiful recipe. The other day I made pretty much the same recipe instead of red currants, I had blueberries. Now red currants. Yeah. I like these simple ones. They're just two ingredients and a dressing of the third part. Now I go back to my third part and blend one more time. It is a little bit at the, a little bit at the, uh, uh, at the brink, on the brink, but I guess it's okay. Taste it one more time. It's still okay, I would say. I don't need to have water. So I can avoid it because of the flavor in this case. And not always, but in this case, yeah. 
it's very it's a very nice flavor very intense I guess that is wonderful it's nice when the dressing is a little bit more powerful than it, it but because it dilutes you see that's what it, looks like. it doesn't look that bad for the texture you see you can see it it's okay the the, 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 the quantity uh, it's not too much you see the blades that means the blades ran free a little bit of course you put a little bit more into the into the blender then it's easier but the texture i see already when i when i scratch it out here a very nice texture i show you what it looks like when i pour it onto the salad so you can see what the texture looks like and you will see it's okay see it's still running and there you there it comes you see it's like a pudding and that's also what i'm looking for i look for recipes just with a small number of ingredients to begin with. I can also make recipes with many ingredients. That's not the point. Just the point is how to make a new recipe and how to understand how the ingredients change if you blend it, for example. It's a strong change. You blend an ingredient and then the texture changes. And, and that can make a huge difference. Here with the, with the mango, as you can see, it's almost pudding-like. A banana would never do that. Never would always, banana will always be runny when you blend it like that. It would never be pudding like. But when you know a texture turns into pudding like, you can easily use it for a cake, for example. Yeah? Make a cream that's a little bit more firm. You can cut a piece out of it yeah, for a piece of cake. So that's what, I, what I'm interested in. There are so many secrets, hidden secrets in the plant kingdom. Hmm. Oops. I love to explore that, to find out. Yeah, it's a nice texture, really. Texture really, it looks really nice, no problem. It has this very nice mango lemon flavor. You have to try. If you didn't try it, try it, you will really like it, I would say. I, 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 I think it's a very exciting flavor, wonderful flavor. So I show you what it looks like, put it into a glass to serve to myself. I would say that is a, a dessert, but but you know when we have a mango, a mango is always also can always also be a breakfast. Mango is high in fiber, as I said before, and you can eat a mango for breakfast. You can, and it still it fills you and it keeps for some time. Um, that mango is that kind of fruit. So, other uh, I would say it's a dessert. Um, but could also be a breakfast. So that's what it looks like. But you say, isn't that funny? That looks delicious, right? <laughs> yeah. I like these these um, the visuals. Yeah. The food looks like. It's also a big part of it. When I see something, I want to eat it. <laughs> I want to look at it. <laughs> Not necessarily, but I want to look at it. And it's more fun to eat then, right? Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. If you like. Like my video, subscribe and be vegan on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day and find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter.